Hello everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BISP Solutions and this video I am going to tell you how to create a stem and leaf plots in R. So first let's understand what is stem and leaf plots. Stem and leaf plots are a method for showing the frequency with which certain classes of values occur. You could make a frequency distribution table or a histogram for the values or you can use a stem and leaf plot and let the numbers themselves to show pretty much the same information. So stem and leaf plot of a quantity variable is a textual graph that classifies data items according to their most significant numeric digits. In addition, we often merge each alternative row with its next row in order to simplify the graph readability. That means this stem and leaf plot we are going to use for that uh, those values which are frequently occurs. Okay. So let's uh, first understand this stem and leaf with the help of a simple example. Uh, you know, uh, you know how to create histogram and frequency distribution in of uh, graph tables. The downside of frequency distribution tables and histograms is that while the frequency of each class is easy to see, the original data points have been lost. On the other hand, you could make a stem and leaf plot for the same data. Here we have a data set and the stem and the leaf values are showing here. The stem is the left hand column which contains the tens digits for all this number. So like for 1, 5, 1, 6, the stem will be 1 and leaf will be 5 and 6. For 21, 20, 20, 26, 26. So 2 will be the stem and 1, 3, 3, that means 1's place digit will be the leaf value. So the leaves are the list in the right hand column showing all the ones digits for each of the 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. As you can see the original values can still be determined with the stem and leaf plot. You can tell from the bottom leaf that uh, the ones value in the 40s will be 41. Okay. So in R the stem and leaf plot is created using the stem function or the stem command and it does take one argument x which is the numeric vector of values it can contains other options like scale and width i'm going to explain this all with the help of our studio so go to our r studio now i'm going to import a file I am giving this name country and it is a CSV file. So I am writing read.csv and file.choose to choose the file and header equals to true that denotes the file does contains the headers. So this file this contains the following data the ranks and the country na names number of mobile users so this data is about telling is about to tell us that how many mobile users according to country wise and the population is also uh, written here and connections per hundred and date uh, last modification date of this uh, data updation and I calculate the percentage of number of mobile users here. So now let's first attach this data to our memory. Now 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 let's I want to calculate I want to know that there are so many mobile users showing here I want to know according to population wise that how many users uh, using stem and leaf command so for that purpose 
I'm creating an variable count and according to number of mobile users the population I'm going to check the highest population here so the highest population for this data set is belongs to China so I just copy this value and paste it here so according to on this population I'm going to see number of mobile users and this will be stored in the count variable now stem and leaf plot is created using the stem command and I'm going to give it argument count so you can see here the smallest value will be the most frequently occurred values will be 0 0.000 and the highest data will be 9.6 so you can check this value here the highest value will be this 996 9, because I check less than of this value that's why the highest value is not this the highest value will be this according to this data set so this is called the stem and leaf uh, plot which shows us that according to population the number of mobile users which are frequently occurred so this data shows us number of mobile users value now if uh, the second argument which does take by the stem and leaf uh, command will be scale if I want to split this value into number of twos then I write scale equals to two and so you can check here the values are split into two this one set of data is split into two and one two all the values are split into two so stem and leaf plot is very useful command for moderating small samples as you can easily reconstruct the original data from the plot we can see that r is letting us know that the decimal point is at the dash line so this dash line and here is the decimal data the smallest unit will be 0, 0.0 and the largest approximately 9.6 so this is how a stem and leaf plot constructed in R. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Thanks for watching.